Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great weekend, safe weekend. Let's make it a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions and to be as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you'll know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 735, NASDAQ up 310, SPs up 105, gold. Gold contract down uh, $7.40, traded at 1833 an ounce. With silver up nine cents, twenty-one dollars seventy-seven cents an ounce. Platinum up eight eighty at nine thirty-nine an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck, one hundred and ten dollars sixty-five cents. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note up ten ticks, trading one fifteen twenty-seven. The thirty-year up a full point plus five ticks at a one thirty-three sixteen. And king dollar. King dollar is down two hundred seventy-three ticks, trading at one hundred four four twenty-seven. Euros at 105, the yen's at 136.57, the British pound is trading at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is you got a nice bounce out here, no doubt about that. You get the uh, S&Ps right now trading up 2.7%, the NASDAQ 2.9, and the Dow Industrials 2.4. That being said, guess what, folks? It is building costs for more lower prices. Why? Bottom line, you get this bounce. S&P, yeah, you bounce over 52 million. You're coming into 176 million. You're coming into 125 million. You can expect a bounce out of it. I expect when you can see the contraction of volume. We already got one ABC structure inside a, a larger ABC structure. Bottom line, you get another bounce going. That's in your S&P. We take a look at the NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. What we have with the NDX, the three Qs out here, they are up eight bucks right now. You're trading at 282. Uh, you know, last Thursday, we hit lows at 81 million. We did 82 million on Friday. You're doing 38 million now. You're coming into 94 million. Gold, gold contract is having a hard time holding price. And this is telling me that, you know, this dollar has been like just strong like bull and this pullback in the dollar looks to me like that's all it might be uh because this contract can't get out of its way man right now you 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 back six dollars and seventy cents you do have light volume you know so we've been trading sideways for quite a bit now if i go to the xau and the hui though this is what is pretty dangerous in this market right now meaning in the metal market and the XAU and the HUI, what we did is this. We took out the lows, you know, last Thursday uh, and rejected them. But the bottom line is that that rejection looks to me like it's going to go back after it again. The XAU got down to 118, we're at 123. The low it took out was 119. It didn't take out the low that was established out here at 119.01. That was established in January. Okay, we got to... Oh, no, look at this. One, 1839. We did take it out. That's, see, chat's interesting, man. Look at that. Yeah, we did take it out. So we're going back down there, man. This thing wants to go back and test. The Gold Bugs Index, same type of setup inside the Gold Bugs Index. And we have there the Gold Bugs Index. Bottom line, we got down to the low in January is 236.37. We got the 234.56. That thing wants to get down there again. So if that's the case, this good old dollar, very well, this could have been just a, basically a pullback. It came down hard last Tuesday. Today, you couldn't get under the low that was established on Thursday. The high that it has to get over is this 105.005 or 104.413. The way that thing's set up, man, that could be an ABC structure up. It, you know, it failed on price last week, even on the weekly. But the way the rest of these metals are lining up, particularly, folks, on a day that, you know, 
yeah, the gold and silver are up today, but they're not up with gusto, man. Um, so that's telling me that we're not done yet on the way down. Uh, yeah, or at least testing. Some of the high volume equities out here today. We got Advanced Micro is up two dollars and seventy cents. We got uh, Nvidia is up eight bucks. Tesla's got a real move. That's up, uh, and actually Tesla is moving with volume today. That's up seventy six uh, bucks. That's up uh, over ten percent. You got Ma Bell's uh, trading up uh, sixty four cents. That's got a little juice underneath it. Uh, Exxon's up six dollars. Now that looks like a good move, but that came down hard and fast. And the real question is, let's get over and take a look at this oil contract and let's see. Taking a look at it, oil, you know, oil right now, this contract, we're on the July contract. You're trading $110.65. And the real question is, is that, okay, so we came down hard. Now, watch, watch this. That, what we did last Friday, last Thursday, rather, folks, was, yeah, 17th, that right there, you know, is very well could be a loss engulfing, meaning that you're four or five days down, you, you opened higher, you closed lower. Um... This thing still looks like it wants higher price. That's the real bottom line. Let me pull this up here. One second. So the volume that we came down on. Yeah, they're rolling contracts too. One second. CL, CL. Yeah, that's still giving me that one. Yeah, if we go to the... Um, Exxon Mobil, you're gonna see what I'm talking about that. And this is what happens in highly volatile markets that you've moved so much that it looks like, hey man, you got a nice big move. Well, guess what? Ex Exxon's down off of 105. On Friday, on, on Thursday it hit 85. On Friday, no, Friday hit 85. And you know, you got a bounce going. Um, you're trading it 92.30. Yeah, well actually, anything over 92.05 is saying that, yeah, I can go back to the high. Uh, today, the volume is not bad on it. Chevron, let's go look at Chevron. CVX. Chevron out here. Yeah, Chevron. This is telling me we're going to go into consolidation here. Chevron's got a high volume low. It broke the swing point, so Chevron wants to go back to its 145.79. Chevron's going up with lighter volume today. That's telling me that that uh, those oil stocks, you know, bottom line, just might get dragged down with the broad market, the next leg down. Stay right there, folks, to we'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 745, NASDAQ's up 316, S&Ps are up 105, we'll come right back.